Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, try this one. In this figure, we have two perpendicular lines. We want you to find the measure angle, a measure of each uh, angle in degrees, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. You try it first and see if you can figure out not only what they are, but why they are measured that way. There are a number of places to start, but let's try this. If this angle is 120 degrees, we know that angle X has to be 120 degrees. Those are vertical angles. Notice that 120 degrees and V, or 120 degrees and W, are supplementary. They make a straight angle. So W and V both must be 60 degrees. Now that we fill those angles in, let's take a look at angle Y. I notice that 65 degrees and angle Y must make up that right angle. So let's subtract from 90. 90 minus 65 is 25 degrees. All right, what about angle T up in the corner? Well, I notice that I have this line and this line both perpendicular to a third line. That must mean that we have parallel lines. So angle T must be alternate interior with 65 degrees. That's right, angle T must be 65 degrees. Look at this upper triangle. What do you see? I know two of the three angles of that triangle. 65 degrees and 60. So when I subtract that from 180, I would get what angle S is. That's right, 55 degrees. Can you find the rest? Again, notice that we have some parallel lines. The line that creates angle R is a transversal. So the 55 degree angle up in this corner is an alternate interior with angle R. Alternate interior angles are congruent, so angle R must also be 55 degrees. And finally, this upper set of perpendicular lines is, of course, a 90 degree angle. Angle Z must add to angle 55 to get 90 degrees. What is angle Z? That's right, 35 degrees. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.